Hot desking rage is caused by two very specific things. One is our preference for hanging out with groups of people that we actually like. And the second is that we're massively territorial, which is why we put pictures of our favorite children on our desks. Anything that conflicts with that causes us a huge amount of stress. Add into that a system where you book in advance, perhaps over the weekend, and it's like another adrenaline rush, something that you have to remember. Plus, people messing around with the systems, double booking so they don't have to sit next to anyone else, booking desks and then not using them, but checking in regularly and holding the desk so nobody else can use them. Or when you arrive, not being able to connect to the printer, not being able to see anyone that you actually know, wondering why the hell you paid for a train fare to sit in a random bit of Siberia with no working technology when you're still on Teams calls every day and frankly could be at home eating lunch last night's leftovers. So what do we take from this? What does work? Well, here are a few things. One is that neighborhoods and team-based systems are far preferable to a general mix and match in an app. People can then accommodate parents who are coming in late, people who need reasonable adjustments, who otherwise seem often to get forgotten about in the general fight for space. It needs to allow spontaneity. It needs to not generate realms and realms of stress. So it needs to have a sense that it can evolve and be flexible. It also needs to work on a very technical and practical level. And it might be worth taking a leaf out of Latham and Watkins law firm. They have agents on every floor to help people with their printing, to connect to chargers, to get coffees and all the rest of it, to try to make that in-office experience as pleasant and conducive to productivity as possible. And thirdly, they're not stressing everyone out over the weekend or late at night by forcing them to book a long way in advance and making it a scurry because all of those activities, pushing people into apps, creating uncertainty, creating unnecessary competition for scarce resources are triggering huge stress responses in people and it's distracting them from doing their actual work. So if you're thinking about productivity, you want to minimize all of the stress around desks. Could you let me know your stories? Let me know how you're getting on. Tell me what's working for you. Next week, similar sort of theme. Processes that are set up in order to limit behavior and put in controls that are so complex people are working your way around them and creating total chaos. See you then. Everybody needs good and you never know what doofus you're going to end up sitting next to. Oh, Monty, he's gone, he's offended. <laughs> <laughs>